Where are you getting that from, bruv? Yeah? I'm Tom Stoke, I get what I want, yeah? It's been that end, bro. Ready? We're rolling. Raw. Raw dog. Right, guys. Yeah. What's up? It's Tom Stockman, yeah? <laughs> I'm joking. Right, uh, it's uh, episode 2 of Raw 2 505 kg. Deadlifting today, obviously, and some back accessories. But joining me is a special guest for you guys only, today only, all the way from Invergordon. Yeah, so I'm doing a road to 305 kilo deadlift. Wish me luck. Introduce oh. yourself. Oh, sorry, guys, what's up? I'm Luke Stoltman. Um, you might know me from such things as um, I'm a celebrity. The Tiny Dancer. Were you not a celebrity? No, I wasn't. Used to be renowned for taking off my shirt and showing off my six pack when I had one. You might have seen me. If you had, comment below. Um, thanks for having me on. You're welcome. What are we doing today? Deadless. <gasps> Road to 305 starts today. Let's go. We're going 505 today? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. What a weirdo. Before we start, for a really good warm up for deadlift, is there's a white line on the floor here, and we need to get everything uh, contracting so we will ba balance across this line, and it keeps your glutes nice and activated, it keeps quads activated, it keeps your feet activated. I'll demonstrate. Well done. See that? Super shaking, so he just goes in with the sharks. <laughs> ah, the floor's lava. Right, that's deadly. That smells awesome. What did you do? Did I poo? You gotta go, you gotta go. So I'm trying this. My deadlift suit on. We got it mid prep, I think last season. Um, obviously a little bit skinnier now, so it was a little bit tight for me before. Just gonna see if I can fit into it and see how it feels. So it actually feels a little bit better just now. So I think if I can get into it now and then get used to the feel of it, I think it could help quite a lot, so. We will see. Oh, it's much better. Oh, it's so loose. Maybe this is Tom's, is it? The awkward about the Tom's. If you haven't seen the video, we did a little update of competitions and stuff, so obviously not doing um, the Rogue Invitational in Glasgow. You know, it gives us a bit of time to, to prep, so I'm going to try a few different things, see how it goes. Um, just take it from there, get the shoulder fixed up and make a big push on. Guys, yeah, so what's your trick, right? Watch this. Yeah, you see it came from behind your ears. Which is, I can make these land with silver back facing up without even. <laughs> Try and get in this new suit, and then I'll be like, ah, oh, I'm, I'm not going to use it. What's wrong with it? Nothing, it's just me being an idiot. It's just. I'm going to try it. I'm going to keep trying it. Oh, just need to hang. Yours are all loose in your legs, am I? Yeah, that's because my got smaller. But even. Maybe that's probably why you struggle getting into it so much, bro. Because look at your. Jeez, look how tight they are there. He's got fat. Now, guys, you can watch Luke get his suit off. <laughs> that's the session done for me. Absolute dog. That's what it feels like. Can you get them custom made? No. Yeah, I think that's probably well. It's supposed to be. I sent sizes, but.
that warm up's done, so now I'm hitting going to do 260 today for three sets of five. That is the plan, so let's do it. It felt okay, just the uh, figure of eights are ox on, so a bit sloppy, so I'll change to the lighter, the smaller set. Oh, I can breathe again. Uh, yeah, so, road to 305 starts here. You taking off your dead lift suit as well? Yeah, I'm not wearing that, it's disgusting. I'll, uh, I've got my other deadlift suit, but I just need to get the the velcro sewn back on. So we'll get that, and then maybe start to throw that into the the training as well. Yeah, two sixty for sets of five feels amazing. Yeah, it was good. The straps are a bit slippy, but the weight felt alright. So good. One set down. Two to go. When are we going to see the weight jumps done? No point doing big weights right now. About my second proper deadlift session back, so like I said last week was 340 for a double, wasn't it? Yeah, and that was just to see, obviously, I didn't know where I was, so did that, and then this week, you know, it's getting the volume again, so three sets of five is volume, and then I don't know what we'll do after this, maybe just increase the weight each week, but by December, January time, it'll be going up slowly, but We've got like, I've got worlds to concentrate on as well first, like I said, and then afterwards it'll really go up, so Worlds is probably going to be the same time as it was, you know, last year So I've got that and then I'll do the tail lift after, but by the time Worlds comes I'll be, you know, hitting for a thousand pounder sitting in training, so That's how it can go right now, but just keep ticking away, keep volume in and just keep on uh, getting stronger slowly again, so Thank you guys Out of all your events, which one do you sweat at most? Kind of depends on a lot of things how I'm feeling, what I've had to eat. Um, if I'm stressed, so must be hyper stressed just now because I'm sweating an awful lot. I think with deadlifts, it's a tough one because it's very difficult, you know, when you're doing reps as well, even if it's lighter weight. Um, like this at the moment, it still takes a lot out of you and it still generates the body to do a lot of work. Every exercise, I just sweat like a beast. So Dallas went fine, I mean, 260 for three sets, so five, like I said, volume. And loose suit was on, but no belt. Um, and stuff, you know, a few weeks ago I was hardly even hitting 260, so it's quite nice to be back hitting some reps of that. And so then, next up is deficits. Um, right now my weakness is at the four, so this will help me with uh, four speed pods, but also locks, lockout speed as well, because I'm, you know, pulling at an extra two or three inches. So, yeah, let's do it. Three threes, 220. And then deadlifts are done. Hey guys, voiceover Tom here. I'm just going to talk about the 505 kilogram deadlift. So as you can see, we are doing a deadlift session today. And uh, we are doing a road to 505 deadlift. 
I believe I could be the next man to deadlift 505 kilograms, not in 2023, but in 2024. As you guys know, some big competition I want to do in 2023 first, but I think by the deadlift championships next year, I will be at least up to 470, 480, and then it will give me a 30K, 20 to 30K window to then, you know, prep for a whole year without doing any other competitions, any other events, and get the deadlift nailed and reason I want to do it as well is because it's going to obviously blow me up again. It's going to have a lot of people interested in it and I think a lot of sponsors will get on board of it as well. So yeah, and it is the most manliest thing you can do on the planet. Deadlifting over half a ton is amazing. Cheers, this is Voice Over Tom, over and out. Oh, sweaty. You got a cuddle? Oh, good. Right. Deadlift's done, there we go. Bad accessories to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the voiceover. Um, thank you. I'm dying. Bye. Nice to get back into it. Yeah, breathing quite hard at the moment, I noticed, so I don't know if that's probably just that's what we normally, normally happen. It's just lack of fitness, lack of consistency. But yeah, going forward, that'll be us nice and consistent. Try and make more time for training, which is obviously a priority. On to the accessories. They're a bit easier than deadlifts, a little bit less sweaty. I would have thought, but probably not knowing me. Next up, then over rows, some start light reps, so just try and squeeze it and not cheating. Yeah, get the muscle contracting. Best exercise to get um, back with bent over rows. Box jumps, two outside, then seated row, pull downs, and hamstring curl. Box jumps, three sets of three, and look what better way to put this bench into a good use than to jump on it. Hang on, let's see those.
magic trick right guys so you see me you know how harry potter gets invisible when he puts the coat on where you go run stop oh. mucking around harry T-shirt is that look? Uh, <laughs> he's he's wanting the sweat. He says it gives him luck. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So last exercise of the day. Uh, we're gonna do a bit of core, so some hole holds. Just do some 30 second holds. Oh Jeez, oh, I think Tom engaged his core there. Yeah, and that's it. So we shall get on with it. Welcome back to right there. Give me the time Oh, I'm shaking like me. Ten seconds. Jeez, <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> Twenty seconds. <laughs> what the heck's happening? <laughs> that was just Three, stops. Two, one, four. It just stops the last ten. Is there a rest time? It's just one more set. Yeah. Right, but just have a ten twenty set of rest time. Three, two, one. Twenty. Five, four, three, two. One. Oh, oh, that hurts, but I sleep. Yes. Then you'll be successful. <laughs> you want to be successful? I'll meet you at the beach tomorrow, 6 a.m. The guy turned up wearing a suit. I'm like, oh no, this guy is serious. I said, follow me. Follow me into the sea. Goes up past his knees. And he's like, bro, what's happening? Why are we in the water? I'm like, keep following me, bro. He's getting up to his chest, he's panicking. Getting up to his chin. He said, bro, what's going on? What's going on, man? I wore a nice suit, it's Armani. I said, don't care if it's Armani. Grabbed his face, put it underwater. He's scrambling. He's dying. Then I raised him up. I said, what did you want to do in that moment? And he said, breathe. So I said, until you want to breathe as much as you want to succeed. You'll never succeed. It's huge, I hope. I'm going to do a cold water dip after my workout. What cold dab should I go in? I'll let the fans decide. So, guys, that's episode two to Tom's journey to 5.05, my journey to 3.05. Uh, how did it go for you today, big boy? It was hard work. Rep stuff's hard work, but it was good. Well, at least the weight felt a bit lighter than it did a few weeks back. <laughs> it's all good. Mm. No, Yourself? It was, uh, it was good. Just Looks nearly up 3 or 5 already. Jeez, oh. oh. Gains. Be 300 next week and then 5k the week after, and that's him. Job done. Hey, <laughs> hey, what you doing? <laughs> still feel a wee bit, of, I don't know, it's still jet lag, so not jet, proper jet lag, but it just takes me a couple of weeks to get back into the swing of things, so hopefully. This time next week will be 100% uh, back into the routine and everything, back in the cold water swims, which will help. But no, it was good. Uh, enjoyed getting back to training, a big sweaty session. That was deadlifts, pretty good. We've also got a, a really, well for us it's really special, really big announcement coming soon. So stay tuned for the video getting released on Friday to hear about that. Really proud of it, really excited for it. Um, and hopefully it'll help a lot of you guys out there. So stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be awesome. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell.